So look, bro. Um, I know it's been a minute since I dropped the video over here. I know that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta understand, like, I got my other reaction channels. I got a podcast channel, gaming channel, vlog channel. You know what I'm saying? I'll be everywhere. But we back though. Tommy G. I did one of these videos in a minute. And I've been seeing them on my timeline because Tommy G is one of the few fools I'm re uh subscribed to on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Something like three people. And the other two is me. <laughs> Keep it real. But look, I'm like, Tommy G been dropping bangers. I didn't react to this. And then next thing you know, I'm live streaming. I'm podcasting. I'm on Saran bikes with the homies. I'm, you know what I'm saying? But we back, though. We back. I know this video is a banger. 10,000 likes for your boy. And to all the new people, uh, what up, bro? Oh my God, this is serious. Hello folks, I'm Tommy G. Today I'm in the Lord's country, Eastern Tennessee, Appalachia. My name is Shaka Hustlemain, and in East Tennessee, we- The Lord's country? Hold on. Is that? Oh, I'm tripping, never mind. This video is a 4K. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 60 frames per second. I'm telling y'all that right now, let me see. And I'm saying that because this look told you 4K, 60 frames per second. Tom G getting creative with the videos, bro. All right, level in love with the videos, I should say. And this is the wrong computer to be, uh, go ahead and try to get it that high. So we're going to bump it down to probably like 1080. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And let's go. <laughs> Hello folks, I'm Tommy G. Today I'm in the Lord's country, Eastern Tennessee, Appalachia. My name is Shaka Hustle, man, and in East Tennessee, Shaka we will Hustle. protect these kids. Yay! Yeah, yeah! Not just the kids. Hey, hey, is rednecks like the white people of the ghetto? No offense to nobody, but you know how they got, and I don't even know if it's offensive to be real, because I ain't grew up around white people and all that, but when you call somebody trailer trash or uh, trailer park, is that offensive or do they rep that shit? Like, that's who I am. Just like the rednecks type. The rednecks to me are like ghetto black people. I'm not lying. And to keep it real, I'm not even finna say what I was about to say. Is that your first drink? 12 years old? Yeah, and I smoked my first when I was five. <laughs> wow. What do you picture when you think of the most redneck place in America? Perhaps you picture rural Alabama or somewhere near the Florida Everglades. What I picture is Eastern Tennessee, located Tommy, why you like in Appalachia. That? This place is country, the Lord's country. Here you're liable to find a gun in damn near every house, and it's not uncommon to still spot a Confederate flag flying. It's a place where gas stations sell an awful lot of chewing tobacco, and the boys in this town drive trucks. In this episode, I meet with local resident rapper, Shaka Hustleman. Here's what this I know everybody rap, you know what I'm saying? Rap is multicultural, you know what I'm saying? You can be black, white, green, yellow, brown, orange, you know, you can be. But as long as I've been doing this rap shit, as far as YouTube, bro, I ain't never seen no redneck rapper. Ghost, that because you only listen to the sliders and whoop whoop whoop. Let me say this, I've never seen no redneck mainstream rapper. If white people is the ones that buy music the most, Shouldn't they be popping or am I tripping? Shock a hustle, man. Buy the attire. I'm a rock with him for the simple fact he ain't trying to dress black. <laughs> I'm keeping it real, bro. Every time I see somebody, even though this don't mean that, but every time I see a white person with like a Confederate flag in their yard or on their glasses, American flag, whatever the case, I think they the R word, bro. It's okay with being pro-black. It's okay with being pro-white, but once you start 
Never mind again. This kid sounds Never like the stick like I'm bound to make a spear. What? I knock your ass straight the fuck up out of here. Pussy talking shit. Bro, this hard. <laughs> In this episode, we shoot park, guns, park get mud on our boots, and meet the local folks. Everything you see is for educational purposes only. Let's giddy up. Hee <laughs> hee! Talk. I'm growing this habitat or something. What's up, y'all? Shaka Hustle, man. Welcome to East Tennessee. We're gonna show you about how it is, how we live, what it is, and we're gonna tell you the truth about this place. When it comes to Tennessee as a whole, I feel like we're one of the last states that's uh, really sticking to the true what American Cashville? way of life. Our founding Buckeye. father set it up for us. East Tennessee is one of the few places you'll go where somebody will walk up with their pants sagging and some cowboy boots on and be like, howdy, homeboy. What's up, my homie? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm a rapper. Everybody always has this stigma around rappers that uh, they freaking can live the party lifestyle stuff but really I just be fixing trucks and cutting grass and painting walls that's really what it is but is this I mean, your baby right here yeah this so this right here it's a 1979 Scottsdale it says it's K10 but it's K cars like this bro when you living out there where these fools living at right cars like this I swear to god a bitch get in there at the quickness now you put them up in the city you're gonna get clowned up and down you ain't getting no twat from the night no matter what party you coming from one thing about this fool right here, I could tell he is who he is. He's not trying to be extra out for the camera or extra out with the rap shit. But by he's trying to say everybody got the stigma on rappers living a party lifestyle, not if you're out there, bro. It's not too much you can, it's like, how can I say this? Being a rear neck is like NBA young boy on house arrest. It's only too much you can rap about before you got to get out for real. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's you want to hear about Shooting guns, hunting hogs, uh, drinking beer, playing darts, wrestling bulls, that type. It gets old after a while. You can't really yank that when you up in the car trying to, you know what I'm saying? You and the homies. Hey, 20. You can see she's a little muddy right now. We got wild over the weekend. And right rusty. here, it's either people who take the route of getting on drugs. I mean, there's an in-between, obviously. But people either take the route of getting on drugs or uh, they go out and they have fun with what they got. And right here, we know how to fix stuff. We know how to work on stuff. Yeah, got no we sense. put our trades to fun. Fentanyl epidemic has taken over this area like nothing you've ever seen. But one of my closest family members, she's uh, recently got on fentanyl and this is somebody we never ever thought would even dabble in drugs done got evicted it's got her car repoed and stuff and she's scared she'll die if she quits but the thing is i'm oh, scared she'll die if she keeps doing it i went to prison in 2015 there was so much dope that almost everybody you knew was selling dope or on dope and it's dope man yeah okay and then whenever i came home it was such an <laughs> epidemic i came home in 2019 i got on it my baby mother her sister just died from fentanyl her dad come to find out was the one that had gave it to her. He had bought yeah. it from somebody and gave it to her and she passed. He got charged with second degree murder. The dealer and his girl got charged with second degree murder, but the one dealer was coaching a youth football. So bro, then toe on the dealer. And this one thing y'all gotta understand, bro. I mean, you ain't gonna have this problem if you got some weed. Bad weed just mean it tastes bad. You know what I'm saying? Bad weed mean it smell bad. But when you fools out there trying to sell these perks, some work, any kind of thing that's not weed to keep it real. Um, nine times out of ten, you didn't make it. It stepped on a million times before it get to you. You just happy you got the product. When you serve that shit, and somebody died, bro, you can't go to jail for murder. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I could say 60% of people that use drugs don't gang bang. Not about that street life. They just get high. They crack heads. Therefore, they don't care about telling who they got it from. If they threaten them right now, they finna give you five years. If you don't tell them, five, man, I, you want me to take you to them? It should be like a blue car parked in the front and the flowers is dying a little bit. It's only one yellow one that's still alive. They gonna bounce it down, bro. When you a dealer, this is you gotta worry about. Bro said he was the dealer and came home a crackhead. That's what he said. And they knew that he was selling fentanyl. My stepbrother, I ain't seen him in 10 years, and I caught up with him at the corner store. We ran into each other and caught up. Next day, he was dead because he took a pill and it killed him. Yeah. Really old town. A big news channel one time 
said that this was the best area to move to right. and everybody was pissed about that because now you got a lot of people a lot of people from florida california move here trying to get away from i guess city life it looks sweet bro i would too next we were invited to the top of the hill to the diesel dicks headquarters this is one thing about life bro this is one thing about life if you grew up in poverty if you grew up in a messed up environment and you don't want to get out there's something wrong with you bro don't listen to these rap songs, these rap music telling you gotta stay hood and live in your... The goal is to get out. You was born there. You was born there because your mama didn't have no means. Your mama couldn't get out. Your mama, that's where she was born at. Because her mama couldn't get out, meaning your grandmother. It's okay to break the curse, bro. Happy my kids ain't grew up in the hood. These fools be walking around playing Fortnite. Backpacks be all sagging. Like, we don't even... They They... Man, my kids don't know nothing about that. Mission accomplished. You know what I'm saying? Mission accomplished, bro. For a rip roar and shindig. Hey, we are 11 minutes out. It's up here right now, dude. The sponsor of today's video is Opera Desktop, the browser of the future. Some browsers. Ooh, browser. Oh shit, I be slipping. Built in. So they got My you bad. covered. Go, go, go get and the, don't uh, forget, the, uh, built in AI, about. intuitive tab navigation, and much, much more. Browsing on the internet. It's built in AI. Out with workout. Tommy G, why yo, why your ass skipping like this? That's why. Back to the. Yeah, Alright, thank skipping. you, man. Y'all better tighten up. We're going uphill this time. Let's go. Alright, just follow me. We're almost there. Ready? Hold on. Let's bounce this down to 720 because it looked like it was skipping a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I saw goats over there. Oh, jeez. Where are we right now? Right now, we're in Stony Creek. And it's safe to say that that's in Appalachia. Yeah, we're in the bottom part of Appalachia. I don't know if you're affiliated with a gang, but we're with the Diesel Dicks. Yeah, we're with the Diesel Dick gang. Right I know you see, the you see the that? truck on the back, that truck sitting over yonder. But yeah, that's what we do. We spin well, tires, we break shit. I thought it was my computer that's shaking like this, but it's the damn cameraman. Where's it? Y'all need a GoPro, bro. They got hyper smooth. That way, when you filming, you could be jumping up and down, bro. The camera will not move. Right now, they on a DSLR camera, probably a Sony. I could tell because the footage is clean, but the stabilizer is whack, bro. I'm like this watching the video. Y'all can't tell because the look like the look like a smoker. I look like a smoker. Tommy G, you got a new camera, man, or a new camera, or both? Cause this, I'm, I'm trying, bro. We fix it and we can turn up. <laughs> I like the belt buckle. That's some high fashion. Right <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Some old man made that shit for me. My wife would love me if I dressed like that. She'd <laughs> hey, you better lock her up. I if I'm around, you. <laughs> if I had her out. Hide your wife. <laughs> I promise like you that. right <laughs> now, bro. Hey, you better lock her up. Bro, I'm, bro ain't bagging nothing. Well, I don't know. Him a little handsome. Let me keep it real, bro. It's not ghost. What you, you fools is young. It's okay for a grown man to say another grown man is handsome. Let's keep it one hundred. That's why. If your girl went to a party with a grip of ugly broke motherfuckers, you're not tripping. But if she went to a party with a grip of YouTubers, you tripping, bro. I'm telling you now. Y'all don't say it, but y'all see it. Let's keep it real, bro. It's okay to call another man handsome. It's cool. He wanted a little, little fat. His, his females like the little fat. What he got on the gold watch? Well, he got on the gold watch too. He ready. I like the belt buckle. That's some high fashion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, bro. Some old man made that shit for me. My wife would love me if I dressed like that. She. <laughs> hey, you better lock her up. I if I'm around. Him. He got the gold belt buckle with the button-up shirt, halfway done. Knowing he ain't in shape with the gold watch. What kind of? That's an Apple Watch with a gold brand. <laughs> Hold on. I know I'm not tripping. Bro got the gold. Yeah, he trying too hard. He trying to back him a bitch immediately. If it's one fool in the world that care about females, that can get him out of his you-know-what throughout the day, he could be, bro could be going to get a million dollars. She called tripping. He don't want the million dollars. No, this fool care about females like a motherfucker. And the reason why I zoomed in on that watch, bro, is that rhinestones around it? 
The reason why I zoomed in on that watch, bro, nobody's getting that fake tinfoil gold off Apple to go ahead and put it on that. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. No, I got to make sure I ain't tripping, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That ain't, oh, here it go, right here. The 1798er. Let me see. Because this blackface because of the Apple Watch, bro. Then it got the little gold bezel on it with the gold bracelet. That's it, right, squad? Yeah, he bagging your bitch. I'm not lying. Let me tell you one thing about females. The reason why fools wear fake gold, just like it is with the weed. They can't tell if it's good or not. They can't tell if it's real or not, bro. They just see gold on the fool. He out here at the woo woo woo. Hey, daddy. Mm. He taking your itch. I'm not lying. <laughs> if I had an Appalachian stereotype, one would be that people can fix just about anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And two is that they like to tinker. Yeah. Like they got a bunch of cars. They got a bunch of stuff. Is that an accurate that's, stereotype? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, that's the name of the game. It's what I enjoy doing. Even if I had a million dollars, seventy percent of cars don't work. Tinkering with my toys and stuff. Do you guys feel represented by our current government right now? I feel like there's only one politician that I feel like I can trust, and that's the man that tells it straight. And y'all already know who that is. Hillary Clinton. Uh, no, what are we talking about? So, this this is what, let me tell you something that's a fact. Let me tell you something that's a fact. Right? And I seen it with my own eyes, bro. This goes back to the Trump flag and all that yada, 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 right, that he just had. Bro had the Trump face as Terminator, like, anyway. In an all-black school. In an all black school, and I'm talking about 100% black. One white boy check up in there, this is what his name is. Mike Chocolate, everybody like, what's up, bro? You the hum Ooh. They, they treating him like somebody, you know what I'm saying? You flip the roles, the black kid will feel a little uncomfortable. Now, this is one thing I want to say. When it comes to the ghettos in America, when it comes to the hood in America, where the black people be at, right? If a white family move over there, I'm talking about a woman with all six of her kids, and she move in projects, bro, she will be all right. They won't feel uncomfortable. If they do feel uncomfortable, it's because they think something is going to happen. Would nobody treat them like, you know what I'm saying? But now imagine a black woman with six kids moving next door to these motherfuckers, bro. And I ain't talking about these people generally, because the rappers seem cool. Everybody seemed cool up in the video. But I promise you, in this neighborhood, bro, it's not finna be all peaches and cream every day. It's not finna be bad every day either. But you gonna know you're the only black family that live here for sure. I never seen Trump hurt nobody, harm nobody. All he do is talk shit. But it's something about a Trump flag and what he stand on that makes certain people feel uncomfortable. Even white people. You know what I'm saying? That's like... I could tell Trump is Jesus over there. I could tell, bro. The man that tells it straight and y'all already know who that is. Hillary Clinton? Uh, no, we're talking about Trump. We're talking about goddamn Hillary Clinton. Shut that goes to G. I support Trump because he's the only person that I feel like has brought the whole American movement forward. So, you know, the whole MAGA movement shit. But, dude, any politicians in general, it's just like we don't know them people. What does success mean to you? Wake up, do what you want every day. The life we're living. Yeah. Is there any yes, lingo I should be learning if I'm trying to blend in a little bit more? You gotta say y'all. Waking up and doing that. Look, he forgot to say and get money while you're doing it, bro. Waking up and doing what you want every day is success, but it's not, nigga. You cannot get no money, live up or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But getting some money, I, I like these fools. I like all of them. 
they all seem cool. Yeah. Yonder, you gotta say out yonder and holler. How far is yonder? <laughs> right here, over there. And if you hear somebody around here say uh, yesterday, you know, this happened the other day or whatever, that could be any time from now and <laughs> six months ago, you know, that don't Dude, mean shit. The funniest thing <laughs> around here when somebody in holler or something gives you directions. They're never using street names and shit, they're using landmarks. Go north as far as the hill, then take a right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we were just talking about this, bro. I've been, I am 35 now. I've been driving since I was 16, no lie. You know what I'm saying? 15. I've been driving since I was 15. I learned how to start driving when I was 13, got my first car at 15. Anyway, back then it wasn't no maps, no GPS, and none of that, right? You had to get on Google. Search your address up, and it'll tell you, get on this freeway, go for three miles, get off on a whoopty whoop turn off, Go two miles, then make an exit on a 95 freeway or whatever the case, and then you make a left on Mulholland Drive. And then you, I, bro, you like this with your paper the whole time. You didn't even have, bro, phones didn't even have the notes up in there. You couldn't even write it in your notes. You wrote on the paper before you left the house. If you wrote that paper, you was fucked. Because you ain't pulling up on nobody like, can I use your internet real quick? It wasn't that. You have to go to a library. <laughs> hey, if you up in public, and you need access to the internet, find a local library. I'm not lying. Other than that, you better you better go home to your little box computer and wait till you the black and white screen. I'm, I'm old, right? Right? <laughs> tell it, y'all. John Boy's truck right here is locally famous. John Boy, tell him about your truck. Show him, I guess. Are you making a barbecue in here or where is all this? What the hell? With the steak like I'm You're supposed to tell us Kill about it. it. <laughs> oh, you ever burned up? I've never burned up in. in my life. Get in. Can the car blow up if I do this? I mean, it ain't going to like hurt nobody. Oh, it's Tommy fine. Don't worry about fun, it. Bro. We only got one tire left. We only have one tire hey, on this truck. Well, I mean, your first burnout is the most. Uh, look, to everybody that never, I want to go bungee jumping. To everybody that never like burned out in the car, but you got dreams of swimming with alligators, sharks, bungee jumping. Doing all that type of shit, skydiving, get in the car and burn the fuck out. That rush, bro, for the first time, second, even the third time, I promise you, it's crazy. Do it with your girl in the car. Do it with your kids in the car. They love it. I'm telling y'all, bro. It's got two, but the one's popped. All right, right here is good. Give it quite a bit of break and start easing in the throttle. Oh, blow up. Now let go the brake, fool. Pop. Turn it all the way left and let go the brake. <laughs> bro, turn it all the way left and let go the brake. There's some donuts for the squad. Did I just explode a tire? You sure did. You wanna get out like? Holy fucking shit. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. What? <laughs> did I just explode a tire? You sure did. Yeah. Oh boy, the trailer park car would be like, what the fuck you just blew my tire? Even though I told him he could do it. <laughs> like I would have been hot. In the back of my mind, was, yeah, right before they left, hey bro, you think you give me another like thirty dollars so I can get this tire fixed? Even though they don't take it to the tire shop, they try to probably fix it with like clothes or something. Look at that like Holy fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. You're a rubber. redneck now. <laughs> <laughs> he just broke up. We gotta have a moment of silence. I mean, we's all riled up, but. I'ma walk me a hundred miles. I'ma do the dirt and I'ma handle work every day. I'ma slow down. Here we go now. Bro, why we is music bad like this? So serious. Come around and get curious. NBA white boy. I'ma sit on my family tears and still before mine I'ma sit on all yours. I'm from a different cloth. I'm gonna fly like a mountain. Y'all just get you off the block. Whoa. <laughs> you want a drink? I'll take a little. Hey, you want me? You want a drink? That <laughs> bro's the biggest pimp at the party. That fool right there just living life. Ah! Oh, Tommy G. Yeah. I'm drunker than. F yeah, you. Know, I'll tell you what. Uh -huh. F them. It's the important lesson because listen, dude. People are gonna f with your ass, and if you just say. F 
welcome. It ain't gonna bother you, man. Hey, That's listen, I was 12 years old and I threw up on. Look at the bus. <laughs> Bro, got gonna that, bother you, man. Hey, listen, I was for seventeen ninety nine. <laughs> for seventeen ninety nine, you know what was something about watches, bro? Now that I'm seeing it on this right hand, you know my whole life, people told me men wear their watches on their left hand and women wear it on the right hand. In my whole life, I've been well. It's that real Rolex, that Yacht Master, that 18K, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, but look, my whole life I've been wearing it on my left hand. As I got older and I got into watches, I started looking at men suspect that I've been having it on the right hand, but then it was men I respect, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Then as I get in watch a little more, get in watches a little more, then I finally understood that it was broke niggas in my past that telling me only man wear it on the left hand. You supposed to wear your watch. Listen to me. You supposed to wear your watch on your least dominant hand. That way you don't hit it. You don't scratch it, scrape it. And it stays new. So if you're a lefty, you keep it on your right hand. If you're a righty, you keep it on your left hand. Broke niggas, man, be telling me so much. I, I Crazy, bro. 12 years old, and I threw up on Maple because my daddy said, You think you're a goddamn man? Go ahead, go ahead. Was that your first drink? 12 years old? Yeah, and I smoked my first blunt when I was five. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he to talk when people crazy. think a rapper in their head, you're not the first image that they see. Come on, bro. You got the cape flag. I know I live out here too, but damn, it's just something about somebody rapping it so hard that make you like, shit. The cape flag, bro. Uh, Captain America hit us. <laughs> what do bro think he, you serious? He put it on for the video too. That? And you think the game is missing some new flavor? Rap is so broad. Anybody who can talk can rap. You, there's a stereo. That flag will make you not make it. You know what I'm saying? That flag is the bro why you put that up. And it's not wrong with the flag, but it's something wrong with the flag if y'all get what I'm trying to say. I ain't got no problem with it. But when people look at it, bro, it's just, I think America is the only country to where they shame you for wearing your old flag. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I Probably because there's so many different countries that live in this motherfucker. And when I mean my countries, I mean by the people. Shut up. Because what you mean so many countries live up in America? I'm talking about the people. Shut up, bro. China, Belize, and Jamaican. That's what I'm talking about. Take your ass somewhere. My channel. Stereotype around us. I, I, I got you on the next one. One more. That we're a bunch yeah. of... There's a stereotype around us yeah, that we're a bunch of dumb hillbillies. But anybody can come up here tonight and have fun. It looks like that. Got we got a goddamn Paris. Bro, I can promise you, I can prom well, not promise, but I can bet anybody. Bet me and you win some, you lose some, but I'll bet a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. If I go up there right now, they wouldn't treat me no different. Probably because I'm a YouTuber, but honestly, I'm getting the vibes that ghosts would be chilling up in there with the with the hillbillies, with the with the most redneck place in America. You know what I'm saying? Bro, put your leg behind him and drop him. <laughs> There you go. All right, all right. That's how you earn respect a lot of times up here. What percentage of people have guns in their house? There's a gun above every door in my house. It'd be easier to talk about the percentage of people that ain't got a gun in their house. <laughs> what the f if somebody was to break in, what the f he gonna do? If you throw him down, he gonna get back up, shoot your ass. And when you got kids, it makes a different yeah, thing. Once you have a kid, you gotta keep a gun. I preach this all the time, bro. And I ain't seen no, nobody say it yet, but these rednecks, they are facts. If you're scared of guns, bro, especially you have a man, if you're scared of guns, you shouldn't have a girl, you shouldn't have a kid, you shouldn't have none of that because you can't protect them, bro. A man protect and provide, that's it. And make babies, you know what I'm saying? If you can't do those, bro, you having a family, you mean to tell me a 15-year-old can come in your house with a 22, tell you to get down, your kids get down, Go R words, your girl, rob y'all, and then smoke everybody. It's a 15-year-old, bro. Get you a gun. Go learn how to shoot. 
Learn how to fight. Work out. Lift some weights. You're a man. You're not a fucking female, bro. Females walk around, I don't know, man, shit, don't work out, don't lift nothing. Don't know what to do in battle. Don't know what to do in conflict. Ain't violent and like, bro. And then, what you gonna do? Have some kids and ran them the same punk ass way. Bro, if you ain't a man's man, I mean like another man could look at him like, oh, he's standing on business. Then you shouldn't have a family, bro. Just live your life and whatever. You can't protect your family. That's not a real man. I'm keeping 100 with you. You're not dead. You're not in jail. You at home. You still can't protect them. What the fuck is that? Please tell me. You call the goddamn police. They're going to be there in 10 to 20 minutes. You got a goddamn 12 gauge. That motherfucker going to be there right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's that tattoo on your knuckles, man? Right this, R-H-E-C. Raise hell and eat cornbread, dude. I got the state of... Bro, that is the most... What, red? Can I say the most red ass shit? Yeah, that gotta be the most red ass shit I ever heard. And I don't even remember the rest. I mean, the first part. I just heard eat cornbread. On your knuckles, man. Right this, R H E C. Raise hell and eat cornbread, dude. I got the state of Tennessee. I got this shit done in a kitchen, bro. Fuck yeah. This was done in the kitchen. This shit was done in a fucking trailer run by a generator. The stereotypes from outside of this state ain't right. People take up for each other no matter what skin color, no matter where you're from. What do you think the stereotypes are? People act like a lot of mountaintop hick people and stuff in our area are incest, drug addicted, racist. Yeah, racist. I got a kid with a It ain't no truth to that. Then it's some truth to that. If you think how people look at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you in the hood, you know people ain't coming over there because they gonna get banged on. They gonna get robbed, jacked, shot. And it's facts, because you know you be doing that all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't, I can't put it on on that day, racist. Drug addicts, I ain't see them do no drugs and none of that type shit. But I can tell you, this is America. In every part of America, that goes on, bro. So on the top of the hill, in the ghettos of America, in the suburbs of America, in the alleys, in the homeless spots of America, racism, drugs, and everything else they talking about happens, bro. It is. Incest, drug addicted, right. racist. Right. Yeah, racist. I got a, a kid with a white girl. <laughs> yeah, my mom's black, dude, believe it or not. Like, nine. False. False. Okay, with my boy right here. My area, boy right here. Incest, drug right. addicted, right. racist. Yeah, yeah racist. I, I got a, a kid with a white girl. I was finna get on his ass. If he would have said the most racist shit in the world, meaning. My best friend is black. You know how they be, bro, I'm finna get on him. But by he saying that he got a kid with a black girl, he valid. Ain't nobody finna lie about no shit like that. Take him out the, he's not racist at all. All right? Now to my rapper guy. Like, come on, bro, the music banging. You seem cool at the beginning. Do you want to throw on the Captain America flag? Do you want to say your mama is black, bro? You mean... Are, she probably is, but that gotta be her great 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 I know a nigga when I see him, even if they only got five, like 10% in them, bro. Wait a minute. His songs do bang. He probably do got a little nigga. Well, he probably do, but the appearance don't show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my mom's black, dude, believe it or not. Like, there ain't nothing to it. Show her! There ain't nothing different in your Tommy G, you dropped the ball. Let me see a picture. Tommy G, you dropped the ball. Let us see. should have been like, let me see that picture, bro. Let me see the Instagram, the face. Let me. Where your brother's at? You know what I'm saying? You got brothers and sisters? Hair color, bro. Genetics is genetics. We're all human beings. There's Hold on, what? Skin color ain't nothing. Yeah, my mom's black, dude, believe it or not. Like, there ain't nothing to it. Skin color ain't nothing different than your hair color, bro. Genetics is genetics. We're all human beings. There's shitty human beings and good human beings in every race, hair facts, color, facts, state. No matter facts. what it is, bro. Trying to split this nation up. When state. the people come together and unify, that's when the government gets scared of us, dude. Look at 1776. But you...
I'm going to let him cook. Ooh, yeah. All right, folks. It's time to go to sleep. We'll see you in the morning. You spend days on I think we're about to hang out with what they call the Tennessee Taliban. I don't know, I have to ask them. But um, we're gonna make sure our ears are protected. We're gonna get some earplugs and some watermelon, some fruits that we can chew. Let's get it. I hear Tennessee is one of the best states for gun law right now. I'm originally from Southern California, <laughs> okay. so moving here, it's definitely a breath of fresh air. What is the gun culture like here? You know, the Second Amendment is very like open and not restricted. Coming from a pretty rough area in Southern California, it's definitely a blessing that I can carry yeah, and don't yeah. have to jump through hoops and steps like that. Do you think it's something that Bro, Cali and New York gotta be the most stupidest places when it comes to gun laws, I promise you. I promise you. California, you gotta jump so many hoops. Your daddy gotta damn near be the president for you to go ahead and get a pistol. And if you get a pistol, bro, you know you can't have no more than a 10 round clip in your pistol. No assault rifles, no open carry. And then if you get a license, you gotta keep that shit in the house. You gotta keep it in the house, bro. Ain't no open carry you going outside with that pistol for no, bro. I, places, that's why I love Vegas so much. That's why I love Vegas so much. <laughs> Billy West or An American should protect and fight for. hundred percent, thousand percent. We got our ear plugs, we got our butt plugs. We're ready to shoot. Hey, Tommy, shut up, bro. I was a country what are you boy. talking about? Now I'm Man. a country king. Tennessee has some of the most pro-gun, pro-Second Amendment gun laws in the United States, so we decided to get educated and learn more about the gun culture here. Now, now run a whole hundred bands up quick as a bitch. So what are the gun laws like in Tennessee? Not correct. They're yeah, easy. The it's called constitutional carry. Here. As a Tennessee resident, you have the right with a driver's yeah. license to conceal or open carry any. That is weapon within the state. Crazy, bro. Just with a license. Ain't gotta get the smoker or your girlfriend and buy your pistol because if all you need is a license, that means it ain't registered. You don't the a lot of people don't know this, bro. They think when you buy a gun, it's automatically registered. That's not the case. When you buy a gun, then you take it home, and then it's up to you if you want to register or not and let the uh ATF know who you are and it's gun is yours and all. Bro, you don't have to register pistols. You don't, even with a license. You ain't got to register. from pistol to shotgun to AI Anything. To, how do you prove that I'm not crazy, that you're not putting You it? have to pass a background check. You answer all these questions on this form. If you do not answer truthfully, it's a felony. And then from these, this, I run your background. And it goes through five different divisions. Are you a fugitive from justice? I'm not, but you are, right? <laughs> yeah. Just like anything, like 99% of people that buy guns are going to be good gun-holding people. But then there's the crazies, the Columbines. How do you stop that from happening? Well, you, you can't, can't really stop it from you happening can't. if somebody's going to come in and lie about it, you but can't. we pretty much have a good idea. Not even lie about it, bro. Um, what they say, 98% of mass shooters don't have a police record. 98%. So they ain't got to lie about nothing. They go up in there, fill out that slip, get what they want, leave, and get cracking. They ain't got to lie about it, bro. Idea. We have the right to refuse anybody to buy a gun. We just had somebody that signed up to take a class with us. We didn't feel comfortable with the individual, and we gave her a money back morning to let her take the class. They were twitching Whoa, a little her? too much. What'd she do? She I went to a gun safety class recently. I got my concealed carry, but I'm scared to buy one because I sleepwalk sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to wake up and actually take out my phone. <laughs> this why, bro, FWB, this is why this is my favorite white boy. He don't want to get a pistol because he sleepwalk. He go off his girl or his sister or his mama. Bro is sick. Bro is sick. I would have told him to leave the gun store right then and there. That is the most crazy, deranged. How you going to tell, come in the gun store, like, I want to buy a gun, but I'm scared to buy one because I sleepwalk and I'm going to take out my whole family. Are you supposed to convince him, like, well, you should get this one because just in case you do shoot him, it won't hurt as much. Like, how, you supposed to let him leave? You can't sell him shit. Nigga just told you he's sleepwalking, might take out his whole family, bro. Leave my store, Tommy G. You ain't even supposed to be in here. I'm scared to buy one because I sleepwalk sometimes and I don't want to wake <laughs> up and accidentally take out my family. But I kind of do want a pistol. I live in Milwaukee where it's a little... But... <laughs> 
<laughs> I have dreams sometimes where I, if someone's it. in my house, I'm running to go get them. I don't want to accidentally wake up and in the middle, you know what I mean? No. No. <laughs> hey, we probably refuse to sell you a gun. Yeah, okay. facts. <laughs> we left this gun store and met up with Shaka and his friends to shoot completely legal guns. Thank you, YouTube. Technology is hurting our kids. So Gab created Kid Safe Tech to protect kids from digital. So what do we got on the table? Hey, that's the thing about white people. Y'all be too honest sometimes. Why would you tell them that? Black person going there, why you need a gun? Because somebody broke in my house three nights in a row. I have two twin girls and a newborn. My husband left and I'm just scared for my life. I want to be able to protect my family. What we do is put on the white people voice real quick. Well, I see the females do that all the time, but... We gonna get that gun, bro. You don't come in there and tell him. You might sleepwalk and kill your family. I, you can't tell him that, bro. I would have been like, hell no. I, well, here, this is a Palmetto State pistols. dagger. These are my carry guns right here. These are also Glocks. But this right here is a Glock 19. This is my home defense because it's got the laser and the flashlight. This was actually the reason why I hate Glock 19s, bro. I got some big, big hands. You know what I'm saying? Some huge hands to keep it real. No cap. Fuck, it's 11 inches. The Glock 19 handle, bro, is this big for me. My whole, these, 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 my, my last two fingers, I was about to name them because I noticed the thumb. This the pointer. This the middle. This the pinky. But what's the, <laughs> I'm about, is this the index? I'm about to say because my pinky and my index hanging off the thing. But what's this one? The one that's next to the pinky, all right? Anyway, it be hanging, bro. And it got a grip. This one thing I never showed y'all. And I never told y'all either. A story, right? I was nine years, ten years old. Uh, i never forget where I was at either. I was on in between Hoover and Vermont on 53rd. My, my my cousin Lorenzo riding a bike. I'm on the handlebars. I'm gonna show you on my live stream. My whole anyway. I'm on the handlebars. We going so fast. I don't know what happened. If it was a car, or what it was, bro. But he stopped. I flew off the handlebars. Whole side of my face gone to the red meat. I broke nine of my fingers, bro. The only one that was good was this one. My index, I said on this one. I broke nine of my fingers, right? And look how they grew back. Not grew back, but look at look at my hands. Y'all see my hands, right? They 100. But my pointers and my pinkies, bro, they they stopped pointing straight. You see how I got my hands together? Yeah. You see how my fingers like this and they go out at the tip. They don't point straight no more. They connect at the bottom, but the tip, it, it don't <laughs> it just don't be it don't don't no more. I can hit a spot without curving. I'll be like, wait. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> Given to me by somebody who was murdered literally a week after they gave us the news. How young were you when you shot your first gun? Probably like five or six. Yeah. Maybe four. I was shooting an AK-47 like when I was, yeah. uh, before I could even ride a bicycle. What is the right to bear arms? My kids seven. It's an infringable right given to us by the Constitution, so it explains it in itself. Now I can understand people's fears about training and everything else. You can go out and get proper training. It's not expensive. There's plenty of people around that know what they're doing. They can teach everybody. May we drink a little bit before we start shooting? Yeah, have you guys got some Bud Lights we can drink? Ah, get the fuck. That's illegal. That's illegal as hell, bro. If the police seen this on video that they was drinking before they start shooting, they will pull up to their house. That is illegal. Like, I hope they don't do this on camera. Fuck out of here. Firearms and alcohol in Denver mix. There you, you feel go. like uh, Bud Light goofed up big time with their, some of their recent advertising? Hell yeah. Even though they did get drunk, yeah, promote that. It's not cool. It's not cool. The fools is faded, though. I'm going to keep it real, but they ain't finna show that. That'd be the dumbest thing you could do on camera is shoot drinking. You going to jail, bro. <laughs> I'm not lying. You going to jail. I mean, I ain't never been in a bar and seen a freaking transgender man sipping beer, <laughs> drinking beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, what? they took us on a field trip to a place called Camp Explorer, and we'd shoot bows and guns when we were in fourth grade with our teachers, dude, shooting guns. Who's going to shoot first? I got this ready. Right here. 
you go. I was a country boy. Now I'm a country king. This year I'm serving fans. Last year I was serving fans. Now I'm living dreams. Get out of my way. <laughs> there it is. There you go, Tommy G. Do you feel like this part of the country has been forgotten about a little bit or is underrepresented? I would agree. In all fairness, I feel like the state of Franklin would have been a cool idea if that ever stayed into history. I think the, the state of Franklin. State yeah, of Franklin. 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 Mm -hmm. They about in the 1800s, so they tried to establish the state of Franklin instead of the state of Tennessee, and it basically just incorporated the entire that. Appalachian Mountain chain as one state. So I think that would be interesting. I mean, Tennessee's an okay state. We've got a decent state government. It's been all right. Could be do better. Do you feel like you're represented under the Biden administration? Well, no, not really. I mean, food prices, gas prices, What's unemployment, the, Biden the debacle that is the southern border, the things they're doing on our educational system to our children. None of it's good. I've had some personal experiences in some of that. I went down to the southern border. I was on a border task force. I'll just leave it that. Went down there. Next. And partnered with Texas, DPS, and National Guard and did some work. Next. And it's, I saw your no, video on it. It's a disaster down there. You know as well as I do. We captured 2,300 people in 19 days. And four miles stretch border and oh. I would say about 85% was military age males and out of that 2300 after their process 750 ish were already convicted uh files rapists child monsters inside the United States because Trump said a controversial statement that they're not sending us their their best they're sending us their criminals or best but from one third of the people you got you'd say are on that Trump is lying you know what I'm saying from my experience they said in this day not they best because I know they still got some marquee people that live in Mexico that can, you know what I'm saying? That's smart as hell that can really push buttons and move mountains. But by Trump saying, they sending us they worse. Mm-mm. I can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. From LA, California, bro. The way Mexicans move, the way they get down, the way they work, the majority of them is here on a good cause, not for no bullshit. All they trying to do is take care of their family back home, send money back home, and just become something in life, bro. Mexico, compared to the uh, United States, is when it comes to the scales, you know what I'm saying? You do got the fools that come over here on the bullshit. You do, just like everybody else from every other country. That's why they got this thing called deportation. If you're not from over here, you're tripping. Jamaicans, Belizeans, uh, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. You're going back home, bro. I don't like how Trump be trying to put that on the mask. It's like that. That category. One third just via paperwork. Not everybody. There was good folks down there. I really didn't see that many women and children. I saw a couple groups, at least the shift I worked. I worked from 05 till noon, about lunchtime. But it's all military age males. Are you proud to be an American? Of course, of course. And do you feel like we're losing that in this country? Sadly, yeah. There's still a good core of people that are happy to be here, happy to be left alone. That's the big thing. Everybody just wants to be left alone. People just right. want to be left alone and allowed to have guns down their jeans, huh? <laughs> Akimbo! This is my message to Joe Biden. Hey. You come try here, come to my property, <laughs> man. Daddy <laughs> in a small town. Joe Byron. Yeah, yeah! Bro, who got hit with a high shell? Y'all standing two next, like too close to each other, bro. Tom G shooting like he's scared as hell. <laughs> oh man. I just got the perfect gift for my boyfriend that was 20% off at manscaped.com. Check it out. Ship. In these videos, I love meeting absolute characters. This next scene, we get to go to Kirk Dog's house, and this guy is an Appalachian legend. We're in Kingsport, Tennessee, beautiful slice of paradise in yeah, northeast Kirk Tennessee. Like this a, is uh, no place like home. I've been a lot of places, and uh, you know how birds and stuff navigate modern warfare magnetism or of the earth. Like, what the fuck is this? My magnetism feels right, right here. <laughs> so I hear you're someone of a genius. What the, the bro just went? To, he just went to the tattoo shop and said, "Do it." <laughs> like what? Just do it, bro. And that nigga look like he... What it is... Is that supposed to be Bob Wire? What is Kirk Dog supposed to be? And I think he only a legend because his face like that. What he really... He got a hole in his ear. Kirk Dog got a hole in it. By day, what do you do? What's your profession? Uh, right now, I actually work for the uh, U.S. Army uh, making explosives at the uh, Holston Defense. You must be... Can you say that? 
<laughs> what the fuck? Can you say that you make explosive for? Yeah, I do demolition for the U.S. Or you can't say that public, can you? Or when you retire to do a Vlad TV interview, I don't know if you can say it right there. Damn good if they let you in with all your tattoos. Well, you know, with a degree and a great work history, the possibilities are endless. Uh, that's the big house where me and the wife live and the kids. You see that's a lot of uh, gro overgrown trucks and uh, weeds around here. This is a Jeep that I was just given. We're going to basically turn it into Was a that a birthday gift or a Christmas <laughs> gift? <laughs> just a random, like, I need it out of my area. It's got a good motor. But what goes down in here? That's just the farmhouse. When we have little shindigs like we do today, people go in there. We got... I would love to live on that land, bro. This is my, this is my dream. To be isolated like this, bro, this is my dream. You can raise your kids to be gladiators out here, bro. I promise you, this just not be fucked with, you know what I'm saying? Couches, sit, lounge, hang out. This is honestly the dream, is to have a Thank lot you. of land, yep. peace Thank and quiet. You. This is a place that Thank the crickets chirp at night, the stars come out. This is uh, the result of uh, deciding to make a lot of good choices. And that's another thing, when he said the stars come out. I didn't know this till I went to some place called California City. When you live in a city, bro, California City is in a desert. Take the city part off of that. Don't think it's it's the desert. It's like one street light out there. No, I'm just playing, but it's like two. <laughs> but look, when you grow up in the city, bro, street lights everywhere, cars everywhere, big ass buildings everywhere, it's hard to see the stars. When you move out to the desert, when you go out to the desert, Vegas, the stars light up the fucking night. You know what I'm saying? I am a hater of him. This is where I want to live at. Choices along the That's way, at a, probably at. a little later than most. Not uh, about 27, city, I got my head out of my like rear it. and uh, worked, went back to college, got my degree. What up, Caleb? It seems like in these parts, having Caleb. a gun on you is like having underwear on you. <laughs> Everywhere I go when I'm not going to work. <laughs> Do you feel like this part of the country is overlooked? Bro, you in the army. How you wear it everywhere you go, but when you not going to work? Do this nigga really work at the army then? Because the army, like the police department, you got to keep one on you. No matter where you at, especially when you're on base. Or underrepresented. Underrepresented in a positive light. I feel like a lot of the focus is on the negative because there's not a whole lot Bro, here like going on except for, you know, you know, I've got Music City over in Nashville and all that. You know, this small area, you just assume that it's a bunch of dumb rednecks. I've never been mudding properly before in my life. Properly? So, yeah. Like, uh, you'll probably get it done. You know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely here today. today. Guys, as we're waiting to heat things up, I should let you know about this. I'm creating the largest gang in America. Big dogs got to eat. If you want to join the gang, Buy a shirt, TommyJimmyGee.com. I have you covered. This is another thing about this area. We are superbly globally relevant. As in, Eastman makes products that are used all over the world. All the plastics, all the uh, bottles and stuff like that, they make the polymers that they use to do that. They had a big contract with Coca-Cola for years and Kodak. There's a lot of people out there that make this, that make America run, and we're yeah. trying to forget about them a little bit. The, they don't think about the, the boots on the ground kind of people, you know? Boots on the ground, that's one of the... Yeah. I forget black people who built this on our backs. Hey, <laughs> don't forget the black people. The, the slogan of the channel. I was getting into Oak Ridge. Oak Ridge, that is where they uh, refined the uh, uranium for Fat Man and Little Boy. It's the bombs that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Oh, that was yeah. made in, that was made in this area. Like Oak Ridge, they, they built an entire. Hey, squad. Next video, I will get at y'all. It's three minutes left anyway. Well, really, two minutes. Um, Tommy G, keep going, bro. All love over here to the squad. Love y'all niggas too. And until next time, man, get to my other channels. Got six of them. 100.